Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, Tabor Talk. It's Friday. What another fantastic week for JRE. So for the past couple of weeks, Joe Rogan has been doing five podcasts a week, all over two and a half, three hours, about averaging like three hours. Incredible. Uh, Tuesday through Saturday. And what a great week this one was. It's number 1649 with Michael Easter, the comedian Russell Peters, another comedian Joe List, and today, Anthony Cumier, right? From Anthony, uh, Opie and Anthony, I'm sorry about it. So I'm going to play a clip here where Anthony Cumier talks about the incident a few years back where he assaulted his girlfriend. Okay, watch. I did go to rehab for a crime that I committed. <laughs> so they said it was, uh, you know, you know, Vinnie Brand from yes. uh, the Stress Factory. Factory. Uh, I was going out with his daughter for a while. Uh, Danny Brand, and uh, she was just, if anyone could push your buttons, it was fucking Danny Brand. She was a mental patient. I, 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 but, you know, we're going out, she's kind allegedly. of... Allegedly. Allegedly. Well, no, no, I, I can say that. <laughs> disavow, Joe, disavow. <laughs> so we got into, we, we'd get into fights all the time. You could, you could talk to every, every single girlfriend I've ever had since I was 13 years old. And every girlfriend I've had since that episode, none of them will say I'm a physical person when I get into an argument with anybody. Let's see. All right. This fight was like throwing and breaking each other's phones and <laughs> yelling and and she's videoing it live so it's streaming and I'm drunk <sighs> and it was just bad all over. <laughs> bad all over i'm like if i hadn't gotten fired for the Times square thing this would have you know fired me anyway so all this shit happens i uh i, I grab her hand and i i bit her hand i was oh i was just God. pissed i was pissed i didn't want to hit up, her man. who she does that waif, a waif of a girl you know and i just bit her hand i was like Argh. oh biting's worse uh, no blood or anything that's a weird uh then the, the fight calms down uh, we decide to actually drive to the Apple store to buy ourselves new phones. So she gets in the but car. But then again, we if drive, it were the reverse. I come back, cops all around my fucking house. Usually she people bite if they're live. overpowered. She had streamed I mean, it live. Someone had saw it and called the cops to come to the house. Well, they bring her in the house. I'm standing outside. And they bring her in with a girl cop. And I'm sure she's like, well, what happened? Well, did he do this? Well, did he mean this? Did all that. Before I know it, they're like, uh, they fucking grab my pistol. They fucking. Yeah, guys got a fucking. Cuff, I mean, like, no kidding, dude. I'd never been arrested in my life. Never. Is that not, true? Ever. And uh, yeah, I think that whole thing loose started trend, you know? this. Uh, my experience with the legal system. Okay. And I'll put some more in the comment fucked. section. But let me play this. As a guy, you're just screwed. From and the, it, this is from uh, the Young Turks right after the incident from a couple of years ago. Watch this and then I'll talk. Uh, no stranger to controversy over the course of his career over these past few decades was arrested this weekend after allegedly assaulting a woman at his home in Long Island. He was brought in over the weekend. He pled guilty today, or sorry, pled not guilty today. Important distinction from his point of view. To strangulation and other charges, uh, unlawful restraint and things of that sort, stemming from his alleged attack on a woman at his New York home. It is allegedly his 26-year-old uh, uh, girlfriend, Danielle. 26 Brand. years old. Now, we can say that uh, from his attorney, a uh, quote from yesterday, he emphatically 26. denies the... He's 60, I believe. He's close to 60 years old. It's 26 years old. Well, all right. <laughs> allegations brought against him, all the allegations, and is optimistic when, uh, that when the truth comes out, he will be exonerated. Well, that's all well and good. Unfortunately, uh, the girl who was being assaulted did live stream it on Periscope as it was going on. Now, we're going to take a look at that video right now and see if we can figure out what was actually happening that night. Joan? Hi, I'm in Long Island. I got my hand broken. I'm waiting for the police to come. Look how big she is. My... Very cute. Oh my God, don't hit me again. <laughs> Stay away from me. I tried to call the police. He turned the phone off. You shouldn't have lied then. You shouldn't have lied and you shouldn't have hit me and you shouldn't have treated me like shit. So, uh, 
from what we've heard, and we, we don't have a statement from her yet, we don't know for sure, we, we've heard about fractured ribs, we've heard about her hand being, uh, being damaged, there's no actual report from the hospital just yet, and so, so far it's a bit of speculation in terms of the actual uh, injuries, you do see what appears to be a severe injury to her hand there, uh, but we won't know for sure until at least later today, possibly uh, tomorrow. And so for right now, they are allegations. It certainly helps her case, I think, that she had the video during the time. And he is certainly a guy with uh, a, a apparent temper problem from time to time. We're going to show you some of the tweets that caused him to be fired from his show on XM just a couple of years ago. Here's what I think so far. Of course! <laughs> All right. I'll put the rest of this in the uh, video section. Um, the Young Turks, by the way. So... I mean, who knows? I don't even know how it actually got resolved. Oh, the, he, he said that he had to go to court or whatever, but he didn't have any prison time, uh, whatever. But Anthony Cumier is a really strange guy, you know? Um, uh, the show with Opie and Anthony, they were the first team to actually challenge, for real, Howard Stern. Like, they're, nobody could, could compete with Howard Stern. They had these Howard Stern wannabes, and when Opie and Anthony came along, that was the first serious threat. Of course, not really a threat. Howard still crushed him, but uh, they were huge. So, uh, you know, I don't know what to make of it. Uh, the benefit of the doubt, who am I to say? Just, you know, the court of public opinion. But um, Anthony Cumier is a strange guy. Very strange. Makes for great radio or great podcasting with uh, Joe Rogan. So, all right. Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. Peace, love, and understanding here in Tobitar.